Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you didn't watch the video I did a couple of weeks ago you'll uh, see that I'm uh, making a short run of these Synab meters that I made uh, a while back. We did a video on in July 2021 of the orange meter and I've now um, made up some boards and some cases um, and some meters and are selling them uh, directly to people that are interested. Now I've been absolutely run off my feet with orders for these so that's been great and um, I hope everyone's happy with their meters that have received them and thanks very much for the support on those that's been superb. I am going to do another run of them because I've got more components left. Um, I don't know how many more runs I'm going to do because they are very time consuming to make. As you can see here I've got a row of boards ready to go and a number of people have emailed me uh, but what I'm going to do this time is uh, I'm also I'm going to offer the, um, the the cases in different colours, so you can choose uh, what colour you want for your case. Um, obviously, there'll be a bit of an extra charge for that. I'm I'm not going to slap on the full price of a reel of uh, of PLA, but um, if you've got a specific colour and I don't have it, um, then I'll charge an extra uh, five quid for a, a different colour case. Uh, the back plates are always going to be white though, I probably aren't going to change the colour of those. Um, but if you if you want a green or a yellow or something different just let us know. I'll add a day or so to the delivery time of the meter. Um, someone also asked about, um, about uh, improvements, upgrades, things like that. There are things you can do. I thought I would show you this. If you've got deep pockets you can put in a different a very low noise op amp such as this one here. Uh, I shied away from doing that on these ones because it would literally add an extra £20 to the price of the board and uh, I didn't want to do that uh, <laughs> you know because the, there really isn't much point it just gets it it just means the meter is a little bit cleaner that's all um, so someone did ask that what you know what can be used just a higher spec op amp this uh, this is a £20 like I say normally op amps are you know a quad op amp like that would be sort of a decent one anyway less than a pound so there's a huge difference there are upgrades you can do you can obviously uh, you can put in match capacitors and all sorts of things you could do if you really really want to do but honestly I did quite a lot of development on off of uh, these boards and found the best compromise um, because as I say if, you know if I'd have fitted these with uh, galvanometers in you did the, you know I wouldn't have been able to have sold any because it'd have been too expensive um, Okay, so I thought what we'd do is just, I'd just do a short video just to mention that, that I'm going to put more on sale. So the, the contact details are on the screen here, so you can obviously get send me an email if you would like to purchase one of these. I know some of you already have requested them, and I will. there are a few people in Europe that have requested them as well, and I've given them details on shipping. So if you are in Europe, I will um, send these out, uh, uh, but you obviously you've got shipping costs and uh, import duties to pay as well. So um, what I thought I would quickly do is uh, go through the calibration. Someone asked that about calibration um, on these. There is a manual that comes with these units, but I'll just quickly show you how you do the basic calibration on this, which can be done with an FG100 function generator. Really, really simple. I'll show you that now. Right now, if you've already bought one of these, you shouldn't actually need to calibrate it. Um, but if you do need to do that, you can either send it to me and I'll do it for you, or you can do it this way. This is the simplest way to do it. Um, now obviously if you've got a signal generator you can use your 1 kilohertz tone for that. I'm just showing this because it's super simple and, it, and to be honest it works just as well in practice that i found anyway. Uh, but obviously if you've got a signal generator you can use the tone from that on a good strong signal in from a radio receiver even. So even if you can't break your tone out from your signal generator, to be honest a good it coming through the radio, as long as the radio is decent it would, it would still work as a tone to align it this way. So the FG100 uh, function generator, very, very similar to use. We just set this as a sine wave, a three volt, roughly three volt peak to peak um, output on that into the unit. And we, we want to set up on here, we want to set up a two kilohertz tone. So you literally just push the plus button like that. And you can see that there, and we run it there. And you will have seen out of the shot there, you'd have seen the meter's gone hard over to that side, okay, like that. So the one you need to adjust first is this one here, R20 for full scale deflection. So you can see that one there. I'm going to move you into the meter. What you're looking to do with a 2 kilohertz signal is to bring the needle all the way over till it stops and then just back it off a little bit like that. So all the way over till it stops and then just literally just bring it back off the stop. 
like that. It might take in it. It might take a few goes to get it just right. That's right, just there like that. And then you stop the signal like that. Okay, and now you go back to the FG100 and you put it on a one kilohertz tone and run that. Okay, and this is where you adjust the other controls on the board. So the other two pots you adjust is R14 and R17 there, these two here. Okay, and between these two, you should be you're looking to drive the needle on the meter down to the minimum deflection that you can on the board. I'll just bring this up here. So we're on R14 now. And you can see we've managed to dip it down a little bit there. Now we go to R17. It's got lower there. And then we go back to R14. Now this can be quite tricky to, to do. I did on one of the test meters actually use multi-turn presets, which um which was fine. That did work okay. But um to be honest, once you get the knack of doing it this way, it's absolutely fine. Now you'll find um the only the, the reason I can get absolutely zero minimum deflection there is because I'm using that 20 pound op amp on the um, Texas Instruments op amps and some of the other cheaper op amps you won't probably get it that far over just simply because they're not as clean but you're not paying 20 pounds <laughs> but anyway you don't have to get it to go right across that meter because it's compressed all at this far end down to 20 on this meter here you see like on a normal sign meter it's exactly the same so as long as you can get that meter to its absolute minimum deflection, that's it. That's all you need to do on that setting. Um, do you stop the filter, stop the um, signal generator, put it back up to 2 kilohertz, press run, and you're just looking for it to go over into that direction. Now the AGC function has been tested on all of these boards, but obviously you can check the AG, AGC function by turning your input signal up and down and just making sure that this doesn't move up and down. You'll get a little bit of wobble on it like that, but just make sure that the, the signal doesn't move up and down. But I have tested that on all the boards, so you shouldn't need to worry too much about that. So that is all you're doing for calibration. So what I do now is just I'll quickly rig this up with um, one of my handheld radios and just do a little quick comparison test um, between this and the Synad, the Synad, and just do a quick comparison test just to see how it's looking on the noise front. And so we've got an FT4X there, we've got a 0.5 microvolt signal going into it. We'll just put that into the Synad meter there, we're gonna lose the sound. And as you'd expect with a relatively decent signal there, we've, we're over 12 dB Synad there. And if we rewind the signal down, take it down to very sensitive little radios, these take it down to what we're doing now 0.2. So that's just over, so that's hovering around the six. It's going to be plus or minus uh, one dB or so, I think, between this and the sign adder. Let's just have a little look. So listen to what that sounds like now. Let's have a listen. It sounds pretty ropey. So I just shorted out my power leads. <laughs> That's the danger of these uh, things. Uh, okay, so we're back where we were. So we'll put the um, sign adder on now. So we're doing around about uh, minus 6 dB sign add there. Let's just see what it's like on the sign adder. Now on the sign adder, it's roughly the same there. The signal is a little bit lower on, on there because there's an audio, an inline audio transformer on there. But um, you can see there, the signal just tie up on the sign other. And there we go there, just under the six mark. So super similar, uh, really near enough to make no difference. And as I said, all we're looking for on these is to get that needle to go that way. So when we're uh, getting a cleaner signal, that's what we want to see in that direction, that meter of traveling. Okay, right, there we go. So if you do want one of these meters please get in touch with me uh, via the email address as I've said like I say I'm not so sure how many more of these I'm going to do after this run because I just haven't got the time to do them and um, at the moment I have but um, work other work commitments will mean that I haven't the time to do them and um, I'm not so sure I'll do that many more of them but um, 
they are super duper and uh, I'm really pleased that people are, are using them and uh, are finding them useful in the alignment of their radios or whatever it is they're using them for. So if you have been, thank you ever so much for watching. A uh, slightly different video this week, but as you can probably understand, I've been busy sorting these meters out for people. So get in contact and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.